machines out. We used it yesterday to do about 200 cans. They're there. Amarillo Monster IPA. And um, there was an issue with uh, one of the fill heads and it turned out to be a diaphragm in one of my solenoid valves. So I've ordered some more solenoids and I've just simply changed out the diaphragm and the electromagnet as well, just in case. Easy change. So we're going to see if that's solved the issue. Advance. Now these should all fill at a relatively equal rate. <laughs> Whee. That's rather violent. Okay. I'm guessing the uh, water tank's empty. Of course it is, you prat. So what's in this one? Is this acid? Right, that's not a problem then. We'll just swap it over onto the acid and we'll fill up the rinse water again. There we go, that's that one on. Oh, come on you bugger. That's uh, difficult. Wow, that person he's looking at, that was really tight. I'm wondering if that's a, a gas post by mistake. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Let's uh, oh, turn the machine back on. Let's give it another whirl. See what happens. So we should see. There we go. Well, central one's filled up way quicker than anything else. Then the two outsiders. Just turn it down so it finishes its cycle. Just tip these out. It's got a little bit of junk in there as well. And let's advance. Let's see how it works with all three. Set up, ready to go. Now, middle one's definitely flying fastest. That's the one that whose solenoid we've replaced actually so that tells me it kind of worked right we're ready to rock and roll Gemma uh, height adjustment required on this one that's overfilled easily done with this little adjustment screw up here there we go done and ready to rock and roll change it over for some five pints best bidder so we're just transferring the five pints uh, vinyl gravity at 10, 12, 5 and I noticed when I was transferring across that we, are, we, we purge our kegs and whatnot. but I don't know if we can get it in the right light I could see as, as the keg's filling up I could see the CO2 flowing out the top can't really pick it up on the camera but it looked really good so I thought that was something worth sharing but we're about full so I better put the camera down so I can turn off the valve any second now looks like that's about it actually so we can see the beer is actually just there there it is so let's pull this valve out and seal it up, ready for canning. So we'll just let this valve drain, this, this fill rod. That seems to be drained. We'll pop that over there. You can really see the colour of the beer. Looks really good. The valve's already conveniently seated itself for us. So thank you very much Valve. Now this has priming sugar in and that's it. And we've gone for two grams per litre of dextrose today. With it being a best bitter, I don't want a particularly fizzy beer. 
just put my hand on this spanner to just tighten that up a tick. There we go. Then we've got our Micromatic keg tap. We're going to put that on the top there. Rotate it. But you'll notice I'm not engaging yet. And the reason I haven't engaged yet is because I want the machine to run a cycle first. So we'll put that into fill mode. We'll let the rods drip. And then we'll wait till the fill lights come on. And then the reason we're doing this, oh, I'll also turn up the sensitivity of the probes to minimum. And the reason we've done this is of course so we can purge all of our filters and lines with beer before we actually get to the beer. We want all that sanitizer and cleaner out of the system basically and I think that looks like it's done the job so unfortunately we do have to waste a little bit of product but it isn't all that much to be honest so let's get another three cans in do this one-handed we are two three and this is um, five star uh, what's it called now? Jim, what's this cleaner called? I've forgotten. Starsan. This is Starsan instead of paracetic acid because it doesn't break down into components containing oxygen, whereas paracetic does. Then we'll dial in to about 11 o'clock on the dial there for the sensitivity. And we should see these fill up with beer rather nicely. Middle one's gone first. So we can see that that's nice and fast. Then we've got fill one number one, fill number three. So putting the lids on one at a time. You would have heard then the little grumble of CO2 because there's a CO2 blanket on top of these until we get the lids on. Now they are 99% safe. These are the cans that had the beer and the sanitizer in as you can see. It's definitely got beer in there, so that has pushed all the sanitizer out. And we'll rinse the can again, pop it back in the line. Same with this one. Empty out the beer and sanitizer mix. And then back on there again. And then finally the last one. Beer and sanitizer gone. And let's fill it up with proper beer. So this time, I'm going to just dial this middle valve down just a touch because that was the fastest and we'll see how we get on with it. It looks again like we've got one faster than the other. It's number one, so we'll dial number one down a touch. Number two was the slowest, and number three was middle of the road. So we'll just make an adjustment on the top there. We'll slightly open number two, we'll slightly close number one. And that should mean that they all come relatively evenly now. Right, yeah, you can uh, hold on actually, Gemma. I'm just going to rinse three more cans and then sometimes what happens when we turn on the can seamer is this, there might be a spike might cause the, you know the induction motor might cause a little spike which sometimes will set the machine off so we make sure we're set up for another cycle in case that happens. Do you want to go for it? Yeah. So we're plugged in and then we'll turn it on. This time it didn't happen, of course making me out to be a liar. But let's uh, let's get a good shot of the machine in action. And let's see how we're doing. Who's gonna fill first? Place your bets please. I say number three. 
Oh no, we've got number two coming up again. So number two won. Then number one. Then number three. So whoever bet on number two, collect your winnings from your nearest bookmakers. Thank you very much. And then Jem's doing a little bit of seaming. May as well get a bit of seaming on the vlog. No, seaming. Seeming ING, not S E M E N. And we've all seen this machine before, but it still fascinates me even now. It hardly moves. And once again, for the second time. Pearl pitch. Lovely. And then we put our finished cans in some warm water to start reheating them so they can do a little bit of secondary fermentation and it also rinses any bits of spattered beer off the outside of the can. Ready to rock and roll, are you on there? Uh, You're happy on there are you today? Right then, I'm on the seamer then. <laughs> 